Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft 1.11 tutorial. In this video I will be showing you how to build a shulker box loader. This is a contraption that will fill up your shulker box with items for you just in case you're feeling lazy and you'd rather have a machine do all of the work. So let's take a look at the contraption. This is the front of it and straight away I'm going to tell you this chest right here does nothing at all. It is simply there so that the whole thing looks a little bit symmetrical. So above that one we have where you put your empty shulker boxes so you put them in right here what we're going to do when I demonstrate this machine is use these ones right here which already have a lot of items in them so that means that they will fill up quickly and you can see the machine in action but of course what you do is load loads of your empty shulkers up there and then to the side of it is where you're going to put your items so for the demonstration we're using snowballs you can put whatever you want in here maybe it's bulk storage a load of cobblestone and if you've got a lot of items that you want sorting down into these shulker boxes then around the side here you can see there's a hopper and a chest and of course you can extend this with more hoppers and more chests to have lots of items ready to go in your shulker box then below that we have where the filled boxes go so this is the output for shulker boxes that are fully filled up so now we will fill up these shulker boxes with the contraption and what I'm going to do is control middle click these which copies the MBT data as well meaning the ones I've got right here have those items inside of them as well so that means there is one slot free that needs filling up we're going to chuck these into the chest at the top you will hear a lot of clicking and then you can see that the shulker box has been deployed over here and the hopper pointing into it is below the chest where our items are so we will see these filter out of here although that is a trap chest so I'll have to close it for a second and then you'll see that there are less items but if we let that thing do its thing you will see that the shulker box here is being replaced after it's been filled up if we open the chest at the bottom you can see that the ones are filled up because they have the number 22 at the bottom which usually means you've got something in every single slot and there we go now all four of them have been filled up one very important thing to mention about this contraption is you need to use it in a particular way. You can't just go chucking loads of different random items in your inventory into this chest up here. You see, there's a problem that you can encounter. Let's say we've got half a stack of cobblestone and then lots of stone. The stone will now be the next thing to come into the shulker box, but the shulker box will effectively not be full because this isn't a full stack. And at that point, the system will cease to work. So if you are going to use this, make sure you're putting in full stacks of items into this chest right here and that they will fill up each of the shulker boxes you put into the system. So let's take a look at the redstone that makes this contraption work. We're going to start off with where you put your empty shulker boxes. It's this chest which leads down through this hopper into a dispenser. Now this dispenser can have lots of shulker boxes in it and if there's already one deployed in front of it, it's not going to spit it out. So we have a comparator here going around with the, uh, the bud block and you'll hear that click lots of times but it doesn't break because it's getting powered lots of times which is a cool thing that keeps it compact. So next we're going to look at where you put your items into the shulker box. You can see there's the chest and there's a hopper here pointing into where the shulker box could be. There's no redstone there to worry about so the next thing I guess would be where the items come out. You can see the hopper here and the chest at the front and you can see it's locked down below by this redstone torch. So when you're filling this thing up no items are going to be taken out of the shulker box by the hopper that picks it up. So the next thing here is the comparator and alongside it what we have are two hoppers pointing into each other with an item going back and forth. There is currently a bug with the comparator and the shulker boxes so this simply provides an update to the comparator to get it to work so it is being subtracted by this redstone signal that means it only turns on when the shulker box is full and then it sends two signals off one of them travels upwards through these torches and into this piston which breaks the shulker box then the other one goes down below and branches off into two different places the first signal goes down and temporarily unlocks this so the shulker box can be picked up put into the chest in front of it and the second signal then just activates the dispenser again so another shulker box will be placed down and that is how the contraption works hopefully that made sense for you so let's jump into the tutorial to build this you'll need an area of land that is five blocks across five blocks deep and five blocks tall and you can see that I've built the facade at the front here out of glass blocks with the chests in place as well and it's important to remember that this one here and this one here are both trap chests these are all double chests as well and then we've got a regular chest at the top and a regular chest at the bottom so not including the glass blocks and the chests you see here at the front these are the other materials that you're going to need so pause the video if you need to gather those things 
For the sake of ease, we are going to build this one layer at a time. So we will start off two blocks away from the corner of this glass, put a piece of redstone, a repeater in front of it, put that on the second setting, and then just put blocks around the side like this, and a redstone torch on this side of the block. Pointing into the chest above the torch we just placed, we will put a hopper, behind it a slab, and then to the side of that a redstone block, then back here two pieces of redstone, between them a repeater on the second setting, and then we're going to come around here and place four blocks in a row, however this one here is unnecessary, so you only need those three. A temporary block goes here so that we can put a hopper facing into it, that's where the shulker box is going to go, behind it a comparator, and to the side of this you want two repeaters pointing into one another, and don't forget to put an item inside of that so it can update the comparator, then in front of the comparator a block, a redstone torch, a piece of redstone on top of the redstone block, and then over here we need a dispenser facing in this direction, in that position. Behind it we will have a comparator, and behind that a block, and then to the side of it we're going to have a piece of redstone back here and a repeater pointing into the block on the fourth setting. Now we will place a slab here and it needs to be in the lower position. Behind it a piece of redstone, on top of this redstone a block, another block here with a torch on the side of it and then a slab at this height. Then we want to go around the back, place the observer block behind that redstone and another piece of redstone in front of it. The last step now, we're going to place a sticky piston facing downwards, that's why I've got this temporary block in position, so it will face down into the slab, and then here we want a repeater on the second setting, and behind it a block above the redstone torch. So now we've got to put it through a test and make sure we built it correctly, we've got lots of shulker boxes here waiting for a few more items, and we've got loads of items loaded up ready to go. And this is why we do tests. I missed one hopper during that, so make sure you place one facing into the dispenser. And there it goes, it's activated the machine. We are looking good, no issues at all as far as I can tell, and all of these have come through fully filled up, which is fantastic. So there you go, hope you enjoyed the contraption. If you did, leave a like on the video, as always thank you for the support. And if you want a world download, there is one in the description box where you can also find a link to the tutorials playlist. As always, check it out. Over 200 tutorials made on this channel. So thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.